Okay, camera stable. Okay, I think we can start now. Okay, what's up guys? Press Young here, back for another video. And today, eh, we're going to unbox the Apple Watch Series 8. Currently, I'm using in the Apple Watch Series 3, as you can see right, right here. So, obviously, this is the box, or what it looks like on the Series 8. So, when we compare it to the Series 3, you can see the Series 3 box is actually a bigger uh, than the Apple Watch Series 8. Apple makes the package very small because they actually move the charger out of the box for environment and and I think it's because of courage so let's do the unboxing in right now so the one I'm that I'm getting right now is the Series 8 Star R Lite Edition it's a 45mm which is the bigger version obviously there's other models which is the Apple Watch Ultra, the Apple Watch SE okay. And I get this one's on Star Art Light. There's also other colors which are the stainless steel, gold, midnight, and also silver. And they also have the product red version. I choose this one because this is the best color. And I think this is the newest uh, color that Apple uh, released. Use, they used to be released the silver model, which is the most common color, and also gold and even rose gold. So let's do the unboxing right now. So to actually open in the box, you can see there's two pull tabs right here. Once you pull it up, you just press open it like this. Number one, and remove the other one. We don't want to take it up, get the best experience. And of course, when you open it the box, you actually get uh, this cool new Apple Watch. I think it's actually Apple uh, Apple's own website, Idol's design, which is, you can see there's a lot of, of bands, which we have the sports loop, we got the solo loop, on the Apple website. The one on that is came in the box is the sports loop. So we got to put this thing at the side. So the first box we get is actually the Apple Watch itself. And we also got uh, the the band as uh, as well. So we got to remove the uh, start uh, take out the band. So it says here this is actually the sports band. We got to open it. So that's actually a tab right here. I think you can see it right here. We can just take it off. So, so it came off. Okay, yes. So it takes off. It wants easy seal. And let me see. There's another pull tab. No. Ah, okay. So it's actually open ends from here. And then I think we just slide out. Okay, there we go. So we slide it out. So we got the instruction or safety guide on the Apple Watch. A little bit inside this, and we're going to open it up. And inside, you can see this is the band, which is right right here. And it also teaches you the instructions how to actually attach the Apple uh, Watch. So of course, there are two sizes. We got the small, medium, and medium large. Obviously, I'm going to get the medium and large one. I think usually for male, we're using it. If you have small hands, then I will recommend you to get the small and medium. And of course, it included uh, only like one. This one actually to lock on onto the Apple Watch. We got to peel this seal off. So this is what it looks like, and this is what it looks like together. So this is actually the Starlight. What's the uh, Starlight? I I uh, looks like the band. Obviously, when you right now you can see the light is a little bit dark, but when you put in the spotlight, it's gonna look like a Starlight color. So we gotta leave it aside because we gotta unbox the watch. We gotta keep the small one as in case for emergency. I think a problem. At least we got something. And of course, us those bands also works on the series three. So if you're using a series three band, series four, series five, series six, series seven, all those bands are actually supported for the series eight. However, it it will not work on the Apple Watch Ultra. Uh, it does work, but when you attach, it sometimes can be quite very like very uncomfortable. So we got to put uh, this stylish sportsman back and we can keep it for for future use in case you want to remove it or you want to change the small size it's very comfortable so we're going to leave it aside obviously this is series 3 e box you can see how thin it is so this is what the uh, Apple series 8 looks like this is what the series 3 looks like so when you see comparison you can see this box it's actually thinner, so I just put it right here. This is what you can see how thick it is on the Series 3 while it's so thin in on the Apple Watch Series 8 box. So we're going to unbox it. 
So of course there are two pull tabs instead of the band, it's only one, maybe it's because it's secure to watch, which is as you understand well, it's actually the same thing in as it does on the uh, iPhone 14, iPhone 12 Pro and above because an Apple they actually changed the packaging. So we just pull pull this tab off. Oh, which is number one. We're gonna leave it aside first. And we're gonna pull the other pull tab as well. And of course, the one and I get it is the GPS. There is a cellular model, but I don't use cellular. I we can because we use smartphones every day. And of course, here it is this is the watch. And of course, inside here, we can test the I think this instruction manual. Yeah, the Apple Watch instruction manual, those warranty. We can just put it aside first. And of course, Apple actually includes a I think this is actually a fast charger uh, and it actually works on every charger but it depends what uh, model or charger you're using if you're using a 20 watt charger this is work but make sure it's usb type c if you're using a macbook charger which is the 30 watt charger and it's also work as well so we can just open it i can show you what it looks like right and of course this is the usb type c cable and if you're still using the old apple or watch charger it is still uh, working but you only can charge at 5 watts but for this one you can actually get like around uh around i think it's around on bigger voltage i think the 15 watt i think i don't turn this thing off because you know, ah, see so this is actually a stainless steel or aluminium it's actually a new version of it you can see the design right here it's very different from the old model and style so this is actually a lot fast charging maybe because the metallic design so it's actually help to avoid heat uh, appear on the watch so i think this is a good design plan or apple making a good approach it's actually actually available on series 7 so if you're on a series 7 you also all allow fast charging but you need a fast charger so this adapter so if you're using a MacBook charger it will still work it will not fry the apple a watch because the Apple Watch has a sensor that can sense I only send 15 watts of charging so it should be fine and the last one this is of course the watch itself you can stick it out and of course it comes with a very like nice ice cover and of course if it doesn't fall out because of this part actually protects it we can actually take it out also of course you can see right here it's a 45 IMM model we can just slide slide it out uh, as gentle uh, and then of course it has a very a nice case right here feel good to it. it and we can just put it back and then leave it leave it aside so this is what the starlight looks like and of course when you look uh, from the back you can see it's actually very different and from series 3 obviously this is actually a new version of the for the checking the heart rate, the ECG and the blood pressure per monitor. Then, and then of course the series 8 is actually completely different. And of course I'm gonna attach the bands as well. Attach it, we can just test depending on what if let's say you are facing this way, the top part should be on top. However, if you're wearing the watch like this, like if the crown is on the bottom, you must slot slot it on here on top so the crown art I always, is always on the top so we just got the click uh, there's a sound come out you can there's a click sound so there's a click sound means it's actually locked or locked on and you can use the other one to lock it on as well it's very simple just uh, push it in uh, yeah, you can do either side it's uh, okay and it's very pretty simple just go in, in push it in and there you go this is the full apple uh, watch this is the apple watch uh, style edition i also bought up the case uh, let me show you this unique case it's a curved glass tempered glass because we all know all, all that uh, apple watch can scratch easily unless you're using the ultra version if you go a more expensive model then you might not feel worried but starting from the series 4 and above apple actually introduced a curved design on the apple watch which can cause scratches if you didn't take care properly or maybe you carry something and you hit, hit something on the corner then it might be not good but having this case is actually a good idea so the process is very simple you just push push it against then we can and just attach it so we can 
first we have to align with the crown then you only can attach it because if you didn't align with the crown it does not go all the way in so you have it, it and you can see the case is actually installed if we, i can show you from the side so and it's also from here so it's a very good idea in case you hit something at least you don't have to worry about how the screen in on the apple or watch actually doing cleaning in and there you go so there's the night ice and new o on the apple watch so this is what it looks like so yeah, that's about my uh, unboxing and uh, of course i'm going to set, set it up and i'll do oh, a full review maybe eat tomorrow oh, oh. Uh, to get the full experience on the watchOS 9 and Apple actually with this iWatchOS 9.0.2 which I'm going to software update soon uh, it's going to pre-install 9.0 since it came in late to Ma Malaysia and if you get it from the US it's of course it's last month Apple actually released 9.0.2 is two days ago alongside with iOS 16.0.3 this is actually recommended for everyone to update it for security updates and i'll also do full review on the watch os 9 about the new watch faces in the upcoming video so that's about my unboxing speed events so actually good uh, to see a, a new um new colors uh and instead end of releasing the same old color which is the silver model and also quite surprised apple also released product red color on the apple watch this is actually the first time i've seen it so that's this a great step forward from apple oh and that's about it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.